My name is Matt, and I'm going to give us a brief demonstration on the Tempo Fusion system. Now, Fusion is set to release in 2011, and this will be the next easy to use version of our home MLS. We're going to bring to you an insider's look at some of the new and enhanced features already in development. And Tempo Fusion will be a browser neutral system. If you access Tempo right now from a Macintosh, you will be able to use Safari. Or if you prefer Internet Explorer, Firefox, Mozilla, or even Google Chrome, those browsers will also be compatible with our new system. Here on the home page are some of our easy-to-use widgets already plugged in. One being the new Tempo Search widget. It feeds searching by location, throws even an MLS number and do a search. Which and you're able to break it down between a one to five mile radius. You give it like an address, an intersection. I'm even going to type in the name of a city in here. We okay, can break it down the actual property type, bed count, square footage, and then what the range may be. In there, it's as simple as clicking on search, and then it's going to quick, quick search, pulls up these properties pretty fast for you. It's all this page I already have it broken down to my line item report. And then on the right hand side, I have the plot so I can see exactly where these properties are. Now, just search down even more and add more criteria. On the left-hand side, I can click on the criteria search, and that's going to pull you up to the new search window or what's considered the advanced search page. And as you see here, advanced search might not be the best word because it's very simple, very easy to use. Uh, broken away from that traditional clunky criteria search, this is no, this is no longer one te template built for the masses. Really what they've done with this, if they streamlined it, if they made it extremely user-friendly, and the whole point of this is really to be built around the individual use for that agent or user, uh, depending on how they search. Down below, if I wanted to add in another field, I can click on Add Fields. I'm just going to type in the word bath here, so I'm looking for bathrooms. Click on Add Field. Maybe a car garage here, so I'm going to look for garages. Add Field. Let's say I'm looking for a house that has at least three bedrooms, or I'm sorry, three bathrooms or more in it, and at least three garages or more. So right nine all the way down to five mats. And I said the whole point of this is you, to where you can then allow around the way you search, you can come up with your own templates. I was able to do that earlier, so I can hover over here, search, and go to template I've designed for myself. So here's just a handful of, uh, you know, the uh, criteria I would be searching by list price, bedrooms, bathrooms. In depth, there's a whole data summary list of the different um, actual fields you can search through. You can scroll through that, design your own searches built off that. I was going to go in here and pull up and save my own search. So now I save a template, but actually save search criteria with it. So here's my uh, criteria that I've saved in here. And search, it pulls up all those listings that currently match my search criteria. These wow features are one of the enhancements I've really enjoyed using in the system so far. A new search capability. So I went and I saved a map search as well. Just to give you an idea through this demo today. As you notice, you can see that there's three separate areas already mapped on here for me, which is a huge advantage compared to what we have today. So you can see I saved my rectangle, circle, and a polygon search. This new map, by, this new search by map allows up to five separate areas to be searched at once. Now can you save a search, pull it up, and look at it? But I'm able to go back in and change what I've already saved in here. So I can click circle if I want to modify the radius of the circle. I'm able to do so. I could click rectangle, change the size of the rectangle. If I wanted to create a rectangle into a polygon search, I can do this well. I put up the five separate areas on here, so maybe I want to put a rectangle over here to pull up information in that area, and maybe I want to draw some sort of uh, a poly to pull up information on this side of the 15 over here. So I'm placing again all my search criteria being applied to these different areas I've drawn on the map. Very, very easy to use. Another feature, if you look up top, you'll also see with all those search of, uh, of, all the searches I've opened up, I have them open. So I can go back to my search earlier. I can go back to my quick search. You don't have to do one search at a time or open up multiple versions of Tempo to search. Uh, you're able to run multiple searches at once. So if I wanted to run residential lease on one and income on another, then it's going to allow you to do that uh, up top with running multiple searches. To the next point here, I want to talk a little bit about the results page. Read about how easy it is and how user friendly the new customizable search and map feature is. Here's my list results. Here's my line item my line 
report over here my actual map. I can turn off that map if I want to view the full line item report. And this is completely sortable by every category here. If I want to see list price, list the highest, I can check it. If I want to see it highest, lowest, I can check it again. I can customize this. So if I want to look at bedroom count up front, maybe bathroom count, move the front square edge all the way to the front here, you can see I'm able to do so. I'm also adding images here. So I can actually look at all the uh, the photos for all the properties that match. I can also put that map back on here. So again, you have all this extra information right here on your search results page. Great enhancement to the system. I'm multi multi sort here. So if, let's say I wanted to break it down by status, and then maybe status I want to break it down by we'll say uh, list, price. and then one and so forth. I'm able to do that. Going to mark my active listings here. And look to those listings. So if I want to look at all listings at once or just the ones I've selected, you can also see unselected ones if you want to go through them again. Again, a lot of uh, options here as well. All right. So the search criteria, the results, we also have the view. So I can go from looking at the line item report to what's known as the get view, which will give us kind of a brief description and a gallery form. And go to the actual details of the property itself content we we have access to now went up the information we can customize what we have access to by checking it off or it's unchecking it but up the I can actually see where it's plotted on map download would be my client report or my agent copy of the listing so well, that is going to pull directly in from real estate all the tax roll information so here's the tax data I have already before below this and again this is the way I've organized it myself you can customize it any way you would like Property demographics, and if any listing history or open house data, I'd have all that information in here as well. Just now we can email or print out these reports by selecting them up top. All right, again, just a small, small enhancements we have access to, and we're excited to show you. Um, we're current phase two of beta development. This is a phase system. Um, hopefully, we've got your appetite, your pad a little wet for more coming up in 2011. I'd like to thank you for watching this demo, and if you have any other questions, you can contact us here at SoCalMLS.